Excuse me, it's Chelsea. So this right here is a stack of movies I've already watched in the first week of December. And right here, oh, oops, another movie. Um, here is a book I've read. I've read not these two books. Oh, this two, these two. So far, I've read this book and this book together, and then I am currently reading these two books right now. So, welcome to my first Vlogmas Christmas book, Christmas movie review. Where I'm going to briefly just tell you what I thought. Okay, so... There we go. So, do, 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 to start you off. Um, okay, with the books. Christmas in Camelot by... Mary Pope Osborne. It's a really, 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 really simple basic read. It basically took me three hours perhaps to do. It's 115 pages total. But when I say that, the pages are also like some little bit like this. It's big print, very easy. It's part of, is, that, is it called the Magic Treehouse series? So again, I grew up when this series was a thing. I don't even know if she's still making books as part of the series anymore, but anyway. Um, so I kind of grew up reading these books. So a Christmas, not a Christmas classic, but a very quick Christmas read. If you want to read as many Christmas books in the month of December, I would definitely recommend this because it's just such an easy read. And it's a cute little story. It's about the two travel back in time to Camelot. And it's a Christmas adventure in Camelot. Can't really tell too much without giving it away. I would give it five, three, three and a half candy canes out of five. There we go. Now this one is actually one of the oldest books I own. I found it last year in Valley Village. This is Christmas by Temple Bailey. You can find it on Amazon because they linked it um, in my blog, the reading list I'm following, so you definitely you still find it, but it's hard to find on uh, a lot of sites. Like for instance, it wasn't registered on Goodreads, which I use, or even the Fifty Book Pledge, or even Book Crossing ID, the three kind of book websites I use. Um, so it's definitely not at all common, and it is very old. Um, Temple Bailey, those are all the other books she read. It's copyrighted. So this is Christmas and other Christmas stories. Um, it's copyrighted 1931, printed in the USA. So yeah, in general, it's actually really great condition for considering how old it was and I found it at Valley Village. Um, really happy with it. it's not missing any pages or anything other than it looks like perhaps one page it might be missing so yeah it's got six six or seven stories in it and it's 160 actually more like 190 pages long um but it's definitely very old-fashioned it is very outdated in its messages and themes. You can tell it's from the 1930s. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it might be hard for people to relate to. For instance, they are <laughs> some old fashioned terms in there that I came across that you would definitely not see in today's kind of political correctness kind of situation. Like there's the term Negro in it. And not just Negro, the cooking Negro. Um, so. That kind of thing, and the only thing, like, it, it's a tough read, that's why I did it first, because last year, it's just, it's really hard to get through, because it's just so old-fashioned in themes. Um, and in particular, there's one story, it's it called, The Wise Shepherdess, and it really bothered me, it was really hard to read. It's about a couple, and, um, she seems like a younger light wife, perhaps she grew up in a very privileged household, because apparently she doesn't know how to cook, cook. A Christmas turkey dinner and for the husband and I'm assuming they haven't been married very long I think the story they state this is their first Christmas well for the husband that's a deal breaker 
And he actually leaves her because she, she can't and she will not cook him a Christmas dinner. <laughs> so he says, fine, I'm leaving, goodbye. And so then this little old lady in their apartment blow him, blow them. Here's a Christmas sermon about, I guess, being a shepherdess and taking care of the young sheep or something like that. I'm like, I'm not really religious, so I don't know the Bible that well. I'm sure they actually stated the actual Bible story in the book. So anyway, she then takes on the wife and considers her to be a lost flock or lost sheep from the flock. And so she guides her back into the flock and she gives her the cook to the turkey that she was going to have and she makes her light a fire. I guess these people live in the cold because the woman takes care of everything and she can't even light a fire. Anyway, so she, the little lady takes her and teaches her how to cook clean and ha host a Christmas dinner. And then the little old lady goes and finds the husband who's staying in his office and shepherds him back to her. Says, so look, she's, she's changed. <laughs> she's become a proper woman in the kitchen, yo. Make me so much woman. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's stuff like that. It's definitely very religious themed. It's very old fashioned. It's hard. It can be hard to get through, a little bit challenging. So I'm pretty happy I finished it first because now I can get on with everything else. So yeah, this was my breakdown of, oh, and I guess I'll just quickly go over the ones I'm reading right now. I'm reading right now Pretty Little Secrets, which is kind of a holiday classic staple for me now since I got it a few years ago. It's basically, Boom, boom, boom. over 400 pages and it's divided into four parts so each pretty little liar has your own part with their own actual themes instead of going they each have a chapter it's each they each have a part with a whole bunch of chapters so yeah I'm currently working on part one I'll read one part per day kind of idea and then this one skipping Christmas which you will recognize the movie picture on the front is actually Christmas with the Cranks, which was renamed, even though it was based on this book, was renamed named Skipping Christmas, not to be confused with, oh, good, not, good gracious, what's his name? Oh, Ben Affleck's Surviving Christmas movie, which came out either before or the same year as this movie, Christmas with the Cranks. So it's kind of interesting, but it's a very, it's a fairly easy read, considering it's like, close to it's over 200 pages but it's pretty easy read especially because it's pretty verbatim to the movie there's very few changes so it's definitely one of those nice ones that you can follow along pretty easily and then watch the movie and not really be disappointed yeah so that's what i'm doing with books so far check back in for my next movie which i'm going to be going over the stack of i can't see now so you understand i can't see where i'm pointing the movies that i've watched so far in december Okay, thanks for watching. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Holidays. Bye, everybody.